didn't tell you about that. <laughs> all right, all right. So I was going to this lecture. I went to this lecture uh, with my mother-in-law, Ann Davis, to, at Illinois State University, a lecture by Angela Davis. And so we're in this packed hall full of these beautiful young people, humans, H-U-E-M-A-N, being, being human. They were different hues, but mostly people of color, men, uh, women and men of color. And as I'm looking at all these beautiful rainbow people and all my beautiful black young people, all these beautiful young women and young men, and I just, as, and the reverence they showed and the respect and the way they honored her with their presence and with the questions they asked and just how they responded to her, and not just as an idol or as a star or just some name out of history, but as those who cared enough about what she and what we all represent that they actually studied her and they were coming with knowledge of what she represented and what she did in her life and, and, and how that impacted their lives. And so somehow in the midst of this, I got fixated on the hair because it was beautiful. All these natural hairdos and they were all different shapes and, and sizes. And it wasn't all natural. Some had weaves and some were bald and, and some were dreadlocks and some were twisted. But it was just all this beautiful diversity of, of natural hairs and natural because they were wearing it naturally. And so I got on my phone and I started writing this poem and it's called Natural Hair Revolution. Mm -hmm. 